Hello, hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Just a quick end of the day update here as we're getting towards the daily candle close. A typical way for weekend, I would say. For me, this move down could be a wave 4. Um, the idea is that wave 1 completed, wave 2 completed, wave 3 completed or ABC, yeah. Um, and if now the 1710 level breaks, it has a higher chance to go to new lows in this way five. So the idea is there is a bullish case, there is a bearish case, short term bearish below 1710, good chance to head down in a way five. Now there will be other support along the way, yeah, don't get me wrong, but then we have an increased chance to head to new lows around 14, uh, sorry, 1530, 1540. And that could then complete the overall correction with this last low. Until we get five waves up and three waves down, I cannot confirm that price has bottomed already. So I need to see five up. And in my opinion, one more high is missing. So as long as it's holding 1710, it should have a good chance to rally in a fifth wave. So the 1710 level is the real pivot point here. Yeah, for me. Um, okay, what happens if we break below that level? Below that level, new lows are getting increasingly likely. However, it could also be it's just a less reliable wave count. I'm always looking for the most ideal structure. And in my opinion, in the most ideal structure, we're currently in a wave four. Um, or um, yeah, the alternative would be that this is some kind of a diagonal here, which might have finished but this is a less reliable wave count and that means if 1710 breaks we could look at the 78.6 retracement of this move up um, but because this would not be an impulse here it's not an ideal it, it's just not an ideal structure okay so from my point of view i am watching the 1710 level at the moment as a clear pivot would like to see one more high here at least to form a five wave move up and then hold in a subsequent pullback in an ABC structure. It needs to hold the 78.6 retracement, which I cannot give you yet because we do not know where this orange wave count will top. Okay, so this is what I need to see to indicate that Ethereum has bottomed. I need to see five waves up, in my opinion, at least one more high is needed and then an ABC structure down and if it holds the 78.6 retracement measured between the um, Thursday low and the wave 5 high. Yeah? Um, until I see five waves up I'm naturally a skeptic and I'm considering still the option very or the probability very high for another low in a wave 5 and if that one more low is happening Again, it should take us to the 78.6 fib level um, measured by or measured of the you know the measurement of the move between the 10th of March and middle of yeah the end of April or middle of April you yeah. so going to the right what it what I mean is if it makes that one more low it could be the last low of this entire correction and this would be the completion of a wave two could then rally in a third wave so that is the situation here at the moment on the Ethereum chart. In my opinion, in the very short term, the 1710 level is very relevant. Um, move down is fairly sharp at the moment. But then again, it has now reacted to the 38.2 FIB level, which is absolutely fine. Yeah, This is typically an ideal target for a fourth wave here at 1724. On the micro level, if it breaks below 1724, I think we can say hello to 1710 and then we just need to see how do we react to that level um if we if we leave this area to the upside here this orange support area and if we break above the 1743 level it would be the first early indication that a low has been struck here in a way four so yeah it's it's weekend anyway so price action is very very slow um and maybe tomorrow towards the end of the weekly candle, we might see some additional volatility 
and it will then give us clarity about okay are we actually looking at a five wave move to the upside or is it the yellow count we're following by the way in the yellow wave count we would also be looking at um, an ABC structure so a wave B wave C wave because it is an ending diagonal so also the wave 5 would be a three wave structure so it's going to be interesting. This is a moment of truth where a possible trend reversal could occur, but it's a little bit too early to confirm it. But the levels should be clear. And I might also give you actually the fallback scenario. So let's say 1710 breaks. I mean, it's not guaranteed then that we will make new low again, new lows. As I said, it could also be a diagonal pattern, which I find always a little bit... Um, well, it's, it's just a less clear pattern. We're always looking for impulses in an ideal world. You know? If we don't get an impulse, it makes it difficult for us. But if it's a diagonal, then it can still hold support. But the relevant support level then would be the 78.6 retracement at 16.58. So relevant support levels, 17.10, 16.58. And if 16.58 breaks and price sustains below that, I think then we're looking at lows in the 1530 to 1540 region. So yeah, it's a it's um it's a possible trend reversal area here at the moment. Possible trend reversal happening right now, and today or tomorrow should give us some clarity. Probably rather tomorrow, towards the end of the weekly candle, should give us some clarity around. Okay, do we actually form a five wave move to the upside? Okay, that's my update about Ethereum. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.